Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, hang on a minute. Mm. Mm. Here's to you. This man's name is Antron. How you feeling, Antron? Feel pretty good. Feel pretty good. Got a, got a football in my hand. Let me guess. If he throws the most passes through a hoop in uh, 30 seconds, he gets uh, tuition. Doesn't say. All right. I'm going to do that thing. Uh, I know. I'll sing to you. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. A neighborly day for a beauty. Could you be mine? Could you be mine? There's probably a wood in there too. I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you so. Let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Won't you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Please, won't you be? Please, won't you be? Please, won't you be? My neighbor. Hi, neighbor. I haven't watched Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood in over 30 years, and I still know that song. Almost 100%. I'm pretty sure I got a wood and a could and a could and a wood and a... Two one two New York. <sighs> Whenever you see a uh, uh, area code that you recognize, call it out. Strictly for the two one two. Well, as you can see, there's another loss in the column, and uh, let's see, six and eight. I can't do that fraction in my head. What kind of ball is that? It's under five hundred. It's four twenty-eight ball. Oh, of course, that's uh, three sevenths. Four two eight five seven one four two eight five seven one four two eight five seven one four two eight five seven, one, four, two, eight, five, seven forever. Sadly, Andre Kirilenko hurt his back. Uh, hurt his back during the Kings game, which is why he ended up playing the entire fourth quarter. There was a fear that if uh, he sat down, his, his back would just knot up and spasm and hurt, and he would not be able to get back in the game. And because they really wanted to win the Kings game, because they were riding a five-game losing streak, Andre stayed in, which was great for Tuesday, not so great for Wednesday, as he played zero minutes, uh, in fact, did not dress due to back issues. So, his minutes were given to, I don't know. Williams got some minutes, as opposed to getting no minutes. A lot of people are really stressed out about Derek Williams. Number two pick of the last year's draft, and often plays zero minutes, as if that's important. If the Timberwolves win, I'm not sure I care how many win minutes any particular player gets, Derek Williams included. Of course, I tried to make fun of the reporter who constantly brings up Derek getting no minutes by tweeting him in a panic voice saying, Jerry, Jerry! It's Jerry Zagoda of the Minneapolis Star Tribune. Jerry, Lou and Greg got zero minutes each. What does it mean? And then he played it straight. I said, well, it meant that Rick Alvin really wanted to win very badly. I hate that one. I get no sold. No sale. I should just be happy. I got a response at all from a sports writing celebrity such as Jerry's good. I get the feeling that Jerry over the years has developed opinions about the Timberwolves and he will try to reinforce them with very pointed tweets. And therefore, I'm developing opinions of my own about the Timberwolves, which I am enforcing with very pointed tweets. Actually, I don't know. 
I only tweeted 10 times during the game yesterday. I try to tweet... I think I tweet more when they're winning, obviously, but I was tr limiting it to timeouts. I was trying to actually watch the game while the game was on. And I was also trying to limit the amount of Timberwolves tweets I got. Even though I'm on the Timberwolves Social Media Advisory Committee, whatever the hell that is, I, I get the feeling that there are probably way too many Timberwolves tweets for the majority of my followers. I'm sure that all the people who actually follow me for the Timberwolves, which is probably a very tiny amount because no one seems to ever respond to me, thinks I tweet too much about Raw on Monday. So my goal is to make sure that no one is happy with me tweeting. And yet, pretty much staying steady at 580 some odd followers, probably none of whom uh, really read my tweets. If you follow 2,000 people, I know you're not reading my tweets. You're, in fact, I don't even know why you follow 2,000 people, unless you're trying to get 2,000 people to follow you back and you think that works. And it may. I follow 405 people, and God knows there's it's a Herculean effort to actually keep track of all the things that all of them are saying. And I do, but that's because I'm a slave to the Internet and on there all the time. Hey, did I show you my cheesiest flag pin in the world? Let me show this one to you. I got it at Axeman. I think James saw it when we went to our Axeman on our trip, too. But it doesn't have the right number of stars. And it does have 13 stripes. I just counted. Right, four, five, six, seven, and yeah. But look at that eagle. He looks, I don't know, is he angry? Is he constipated? Is he eating the stripes? The texture? Mmm. But yeah, there's like, what is that? Maybe 24 stars? Not counting ones that are, that are the eagles covering up. Why is it like that, you ask? Well, it's really quite simple. Made in China, yeah. It's great. It's also very large. I like that about it. But it's also got one of these backs. This is not the kind that you squeeze and twist and so I don't know how many times this is good. Of course, I've just lowered its life by one by taking it off and putting it back on to show it to you. Na, 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 na. This would be easier if this were a mirror and not a camera. I think I can flip this picture so that it's like a mirror. I don't know if I can do that while I'm taping, though. Whoops. This color's tougher than I thought. This, of course, is my company backline team shirt. If I wasn't doing two things at once, which I am. Hang on a minute. Let me be completely distracted. There we go. Where is it? America's Net Backup Backline Team. All right. Thank you, Net Backup. By the way, today is Thursday. It's 6.33 p.m. and it's 35 degrees. It is late. In fact, I've been here more than eight hours. What's wrong with me? i got to get out of here. But thinking a lot about the Wolves and my place in the Wolves Nation. And my place in the Wolves Nation. I have a feeling that as the month ends and they do whatever month end thing they want to do, and I notice a lot of people have suddenly started spamming too, get points. If you follow me on Twitter, you saw me do my own parody of that, and yet at the same time, I scored some points as well. One was to upload a photo. The photo was of me doing this. Ah, performance art. You big hypocrite, you complain about it, but you're doing the same thing. I know. I think everybody on the internet's guilty of that, though. At least I recognize I'm a hypocrite. There are some really hypocritical folks. Well, I've said this before. What does my complaining really accomplish anyway? In fact, what does anything I ever really do accomplish anyway? Sure, I released technical alerts for a billion dollar product, but does it really mean anything in the long run? I hope so. They'll keep paying me. Hey, my time is up. I'm as shocked as you are. One more day, one more day. There's a home game tomorrow against the Milwaukee Bucks. Go Timberwolves. It'll be the last day of November, so we'll see how this mustache looks. I'll bet it looks a lot like this tomorrow. But thanks for watching. Big finish for tomorrow, for Friday. Not really. It'll be me 
in a dreadful hurry to get the hell out of here because I have to be at the Target Center. So, much earlier and much more in a panic, I'm sure. Is that something to look forward to or what? Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.